No, my heart am I. Welcome to 3 News. A man is in custody as the FBI investigate what's appear what appears to be another assassination attempt on Donald Trump. The former US president was playing golf at his Florida resort when Secret Service agents spotted the barrel of a high-powered rifle poking through the shrub shrubbery at the perimeter fence. Shots were fired at the suspect. He fled the scene in a vehicle but was later apprehended. As Zane Small reports, investigators found an AK-47 with a scope in the bushes. Trump International Golf Club completely surrounded by law enforcement. After what appears to be the second assassination attempt on the former president in just over two months. He was playing golf at the Trump International Golf Course in West Palm Beach, Florida, when he was on the fifth hole. And a Secret Service agent who serves as an advance man a few holes ahead of him spots a muzzle sticking out of a chain link fence. He noticed that the Rifle was pointed out, our agents engaged. Uh, we are not sure right now if the individual was able to take a shot at our agents. Speaking on Fox News, presenter and friend of the former president, Sean Hannity, was at the resort at the time and recounted the incident. They heard pop, 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 pop. Within seconds, the Secret Service pounced on the president, uh, covered him. You had snipers with tripods. They knew the direction where, where the shots had been fired, and they had eyes on the location. The gun has been found. They identified it as an AK-47. The suspect fled in a vehicle but was apprehended by local police. He's been taken into custody. Our units were completely locked on. We were, we were ready to go. Had the vehicle fled, we would have stopped it. Uh, of course, had there been a gunfight, we were ready to engage. Thankfully, because of good tactics, stopping the car, felony stop, getting him out of the vehicle, coming back to us, we were able to stabilize the scene without any further violence. The accused has been identified as 58-year-old Ryan Wesley Routh, an outspoken supporter of Ukraine. You know, the U Ukrainians and the rest of the world are caring and kind and, and generous and, and unselfish and and take care of one another, and it's just a matter of, you know, we need to stand up for that. The suspect's son, Oren, told CNN via text that his father is an honest, hard-working man, adding, I don't know what's happened in Florida, and I hope things have just been blown out of proportion, because from the little I've heard, it doesn't sound like the man I know to do anything crazy. U.S. authorities have released pictures of potential evidence taken from bushes near the golf course, including backpacks, a GoPro camera mounted on the fence and a firearm. Donald Trump gave an update on his campaign website saying, Fear not, I am safe and well and no one was hurt. Thank God. But there are people in this world who will do whatever it takes to stop us. I will never surrender. I will always love you for supporting me. Donald Trump survived a previous assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania on July 13th. An audience member was killed, and the 20-year-old gunman with no apparent motive, Thomas Matthew Crooks, was shot dead. And Trump was forced to campaign with an ear bandage. The head of Secret Service, Kimberly Cheetle, resigned after admitting the shooting was the most significant operational failure in decades. Trump pointed blame at his Democrat opponent, Kamala Harris, during last week's presidential debate. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. President Joe Biden has been briefed on the latest incident, and so has Vice President Harris. On social media, she wrote, I am glad he is safe. Violence has no place in America. But extreme violence is now a recurring theme in this presidential election, with just 49 days to go until Americans decide. Well, Zane joins us now. Kia ora, Zane. This is another major twist in the campaign. So how might it impact Trump going forward? Well, it will be interesting to see in the coming days if Donald Trump goes ahead with his public rallies. We know how much he loves them. And mm -hmm. according to his website, he's got public events planned this week in Michigan, New York and North Carolina. Because while this second apparent assassination attempt will no doubt be alarming for Trump and his team, 
comes at quite a crucial time for Trump when he's trying to speak to supporters ahead of the election. So I imagine it will be a very tough call for them to make, especially considering that Trump's security was ramped up after the July assassination attempt. Now, President Joe Biden has released a statement in the past few hours saying he's directed his team to ensure the Secret Service has every resource uh, available to them to ensure the president's continued, the former president, rather, mm. his continued safety. Okay, thanks for the update. Namahi Nui.